Hello, my name is Tu Bui. I'm a PharmD candidate class of 2021. In this video, I will be talking about the medications called Enelabril. Its brand name is Epinet or Vasotec. So let's start off with patients' counseling points. Enelabril is used to treat high blood pressure and help some patients without heart problems, including heart attack, stroke, or heart failures to lower the risk of hospital admissions. Most of the time, these medications can be dosed once daily with or without food for hypertension. In some patients, the dose may be titrated up and will be twice daily if needed to maintain the 24-hour effects. Take this drug at the same time of the day and drink lots of non-caffeine fluids unless told to drink less liquid by the doctor. Some of the common side effects that patients may be experiencing are dizziness, headaches, and dry cough. Patients should contact the doctor right away if they experience any of the symptoms below, which are more severe. They are persistent low blood pressure, experience any sign of allergic reactions such as rash, hives, or shortness of breath. They have extremely swelling in the mouth, face, lip, tongue, or throat. Any sign of kidney problems such as unable to pass the urine or there is a blood in the urine. Do not use Enalabril if you are pregnant. If you become pregnant, stop taking this medicine and tell the doctor right away. Enalabril is in class of angiotensin converting enzyme or as known as ACE inhibitor. This medication is indicated for management of hypertension. It can be used as a monotherapy or in combination with other antihypertensive agents. Besides that, Enalabril is also used as a treatment of symptomatic heart failures to improve symptoms, increase patient survival, and decrease hospitalizations. Some of the off-label use including myocardial infarction, acute coronary syndrome, and protein uric chronic kidney disease. Enalapril is a prodrug. It will rapidly biotransform into its active metabolite called enalaprilat, and this metabolite are competitive inhibitor of angiotensin converting enzyme. It will stop conversion of angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2, which is a very potent vasoconstrictor. It also increases in plasma renin activity and a reduction in aldosterone secretion that will lower reabsorption of sodium, chloride, and water. It also helps to block the degradation of bradykinin, which is improving and promoting more vasodilation. Ultimately, Enalabril works to reduce blood pressure and blood fluid volume in general. This medication comes with a different formulation, including oral solution, reconstituted solution, or tablet form. Dosing and administration. For hypertension, the initial dose is 5 mg per day in 1 to 2 divided doses, and it could be titrated up to the maximum dose of 40 mg per day in 1 to 2 divided doses. For the heart failure indication, the initial dose is 2.5 mg twice a day and the maximum dose of 20, 10 to 20 mg twice a day. For off-label use of acute coronary syndromes, including non-SD elevation and SD elevation MI, initial dose is 2.5 to 5 mg in 1 to 2 divided doses, and the maximum dose per day is 40 mg in 1 to 2 divided doses. For patients with hepatic impairment or renal impairment with creatinine clearance of greater than 30 milliliter per minute, there is no dosing adjustment required. Any patient with creatinine clearance of less than or equal to 30 milliliter per minute, they should start off with 2.5 milligram once a day and then titrate up as needed per doctor instructions. Another is a well-tolerated medication, but there are a few things that we need to watch out for. Some adverse events of enalapril are cough, hypotension, hyperkalemia, dizziness, and declining in renal function. Patients with chronic kidney disease or if they are on potassium supplements or potassium sparing drugs will have a higher chance of getting hyperkalemia. Some drug-drug interactions are shown below. Patients should be monitored for the kidney function if they're taking enalapril with other nephrotoxicity agents such as NSAID, loop diuretic, Cyclosporin, aminoglycoside, or vancomycin. 
Patients taking an Alagil with lithium concomitantly should be monitored for lithium toxicity. Taking Sacubitril, Valsarin, brand name Andrestol, with Analabil will increase risks of hypotension. It will also enhance toxic effect of Sacubitril and angioedema risks of Valsarin. Contraindication of this drug are angioedema related to previous treatment with ACE inhibitor, idiopathic or hereditary angioedema, pregnancy, or patients using angiotensin II receptor blockers, or any other direct renin inhibitors. Some cautions that need to be paid attention are aortic stenosis, renal artery stenosis, or patients who are black since this medication is not working as effective as lowering the blood pressure. Also, it will increase in risk of angioedema. Close monitoring of patient is required, especially with initial dosing and dosing increases. Some of the appropriate monitoring parameters are blood pressure, electrolyte level, renal functions, any sign of anaphylactic reaction or angioedema.